Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss a problem: recursively remove all adjacent duplicates. So uh, in this problem, we have to remove all the adjacent duplicates in a string, and we have to uh, do it using recurs recursion, right? So it's quite easy problem. Let's see how we'll approach it. So let's discuss it with a test case: a, b, z, x, x, a, b. Let's take this test case. So its output should come as a, b, z. Since x are adjacent and they are duplicate, so only one will come. X, a, b. So we have removed duplicates from this string, right? All the adjacent duplicates, right? It's mentioned in the question that we need to remove all the adjacent duplicates, right? So this will be the output for this test case. Now let's see how we'll approach it. So, what we'll be doing is we'll be we can do this uh, like uh, without using recursion also, but since it's in a, it's given in the question that we need to do it recursively, so let's see the recursive approach. So let's see how we approach a recursive problem. We have three steps, right? One is base case. We see what will be the base case. Then we will think of the recursive call. Recursive call, and then the small work. If you are starting with recursion and uh, you are not clear with the basics of recursion, then I have made a playlist on recursion. I'll uh, give the link in the description. You can check that, and then you can come to this problem. So uh, let's see how we'll approach this. So first of all, we'll be thinking about the small work, right? Now, how do we like this is a string, right? How do we how do we divide? Like first step. in recursion is to divide the input right in small work what we do we divide the input divide the input so in array or in strings what we how we how we divide right we take a string like if this is the string a b z x x a b what we'll do is we will work on the zeroth index and rest of the work recursion will do right this is how we divide in a string right same same as we do in the array so we work on the zeroth index and rest we pass to recursion or or you what you can do is you can work on the last index and the rest you can pass to recursion so both approaches will give the same answer both the approaches are correct it's your choice how you find it easier or what do you like to do so you can do it as it is i usually do it like uh, this way that i work on the zeroth index and rest i pass to the recursion so let's do it that way so how we'll do is this is first we are dividing the input how we are dividing is this is zeroth index 1 2 3 4 5 6 so on the zeroth index i will do the work right and on the rest of the uh, string recursion will do the work for me so what is work over here the work is that we need to check we need to remove all adjacent duplicates right now see if i am on the zeroth index and i have to check whether the adjacent element to this zeroth index is same as this or not over here zeroth index element is a but the next one is b so they are not equal right so they are not duplicates so nothing uh, we should worry about we should we can do the recursive call right so what we'll do is in whatever recursion uh, like this this will be passed to the recursion right and recursion will give us a result to that result we will add our this a because it's not like it's not a duplicate right so we can add it right so now see what will what will be passed to recursion so this b like b z x x a b this will go to recursion right so for recursion this is zero index this is one this is two this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 right now again what we what we did is uh, we uh, the recursion we'll do the small work what uh, the recursion will do the small work recursion will check what a, what is the element at zeroth index it's b and next to it is z they are not equal so nothing we should worry about right they are not uh, duplicates so what we can do is simply we can again do the recursive call in which b which is at the zeroth index and what will pass to the recursion is this this string from one index which is z x 
x a b right now for uh, this string this is zero in index 1 2 3 and 4 right now again we will check at the zeroth index it's z and one for and first at first index it's x so they are not still equal so they are not duplicates we can what we can do is we can just attach z to whatever comes from the recursion result so recursion string will be x x a b this will be passed to the recursion from one index right now for this 0 1 2 3 this will be the indexing now check now like check over here see at zeroth index it's x and at one index it's also x so now they are duplicates and they are adjacent so now we need to what do you think now what we should do should we include like over here what we were include uh, doing was we were including the zeroth index element right zeroth index element and we were we were like passing to recursion from the one index right now over here since these are two same what do you think we will include and what the rest of the part will be passed to recursion what do you think just pause the video and think think okay i hope you got it see since both of these are equal and we want only one we will like add only like suppose let's take zeroth index element so we will add only this to the result and what we will pass to the recursion is not from here not from the one index but from this index right so uh, second index so the uh, the string passed to recursion will be ab right so see this x this this x which was duplicate is removed now right 0 1 for recursion uh, this is the string now again same thing at zeroth index it's a and at uh, one index it's b they are not equal so what we can do is we can just simply we can simply just add a and this will be passed to the from one index it will pass to the recursion so recursion will get b now when there is only one character in the string then it will be returned as it is right so now it this will become ab it ab will be passed ab will be returned right so then it will uh, over here ab will come x plus ab x plus ab will become x ab right now this will be returned so over it it will be z plus x ab which will become z x ab now this will be returned so it will be b plus what z x ab so it will be b z x ab right now for this recursive call this thing is uh, returned so it will be a plus b z x ab which will be uh, b a b z x a b and this will be returned as the final output so this is our final answer see it does not have any duplicate it is in duplicates right so i hope you understood the problem uh, how we are uh, basically dividing see for small work what we are doing is everywhere we are checking if if the element at zeroth index is it equal to element at one index right if this is the case like if they are equal over here like it was over here x x since they were equal what we did was we returned s 0 plus recursive call and in recursive call what we were passing from the this index where it is not equal to the x like so this index so s dot sub str we'll use the substring function and over here that index will come that index from where it's different right so it it might be a case like there are three x's like over here there are three x's then it will be again it uh, we'll pass from here a right so over here in sub str that index will come where where value, like where the element is different from the zeroth index and and when see when in else if they are not equal like over here 
suppose yeah c b and z were not equal so what we did was we just added s of 0 and recursive call to s dot sub str from index c which index from index 1 x x a that in that case it's just simple from index 1 all the rest of the string will pass to recursion so this is our basic c basic approach this is a small work we are doing with the, we are checking this is our small work this is these are the recursive calls now i hope you will understand what will be the base case it's very easy what do you think will be the base case so base case is generally the smallest valid input right valid input so either the string could be uh, empty or the string could have a single element any element right in that case both cases we will just simply return the string because uh, in one string there will be no duplicate like in one element string right obviously and empty string is just empty right so this will be the approach right uh, this is the dry run the tree and uh, i hope you understood the approach uh, just dry run uh, this approach on some another test case you will get to understand now let's see the code of this it's the code is very simple if you understood this thing which we have written over here see this is the base case uh, we are given a string s right this is the function and we have to return a string now we have taken n variable in which we are just storing the size of array over here we could have like or if n is equal equal to 1 means if the string is 0 means string size is uh, n is the size right if n is 0 and n is 1 or or n is 1 then just simply return s this is the base case right over here this is the base case and this is the small work we are doing small work we are checking if s of 0 is equal to s of 1 right which means which means they are duplicate so we have to remove this we will have an index variable and this index will go on until the elements are equal to the s of 0 element and also index is less than n we'll increment index so this loop will break when the s of index element is not equal to the s of 0 right then this loop will break so we will return s of 0 one element like over here we just included x right because one x needs to be included now like both both should not be included but one should be included so s of 0 this is s of 0 plus from the index where the value is different see from a to the recurs uh, recursion so remove this recursive call from s dot sub str index right if they are not equal see if they are not equal then you uh, the uh, the control will come over here and we will just simply add the first character and uh, in the recursive call we will just pass s dot sub str 1 from index 1 so this is simple see, see this is very simple code right i hope you understood how to approach the recursion problem uh, basically what we need to do is we just need to think of how we can work how we can first of all how we can divide right how we can divide the input divide input and then secondly <coughs> and secondly what we need to uh, think is what small work right small work what is the small work so the uh, these basically uh, is the like main how to solve the problem and let's see the time complexity so see over here we are visiting we are visiting each element of the string once right if you see we we have gone to a then we go to b z x like each element is like the control is going to each element at once right so the complexity will be o of n where n is size of array uh, size of string right size of string and space if we count the recursive stack right then there will be n recursive calls because it will go till c it was it, it was going till the length of the last element of the string right so all these recursive calls will be stored in this stack so it will be o of n if we consider the recursive stack space see right 
so i hope you understood the problem if you understood please please like the video uh, if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments i'll be happy to help please share with your friends and please subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon means a lot see you in the next video